everyone. Welcome back to Berkshire Farm. My name is Frank. Thank you for clicking on our channel. And we're doing some more barn dominium fixing. I'm gonna be working on this front door today. It never has really worked right from day one. You see I got Jackie's nice beautiful hardware put on and from day one see it it hits it's hitting up here it's dragging on the bottom um, bottom line is just it was never it was never installed correctly um, I can show you on the inside you can see right here on the inside this side of the door is supposed to be flush with the sheetrock on this side of on this side of the the door it's supposed to be flush I'm going to take you over and show you the garage laundry room door that I installed. So you can see here that the door is flush with the drywall on the inside. That's, that way you can come in with your trim and trim it out on the inside. You can see here where I shimmed. I shimmed here. I shimmed on the bottom. I shimmed this entire hinge side. As you can see as I open the door, this is the hinge side. I ran a level all the way down this and, and I put shims to bring it out level all the way down. When I fastened the door in, I came in here into the original hinge and this is where I mounted the door with, these are three inch drywalls that I put right in the original hinge so I don't have screws just stuck all over the, the door frame. They're, they're basically hidden. This side is completely level and plumb. Then I came in and I made sure that across the bottom, the bottom sill was completely level. Uh, I ended up having to shim this hinge side up. I shimmed it up about an eighth of an inch. Then I leveled this, it's the same thing. I leveled all this in as I came in. And now the door shuts very smooth. I can hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the seals all the way around the door. The seals are, are coming in contact and my deadbolt. It's just nice and smooth, nice and smooth. So now I'm going to attempt to do the same thing on the front door to see if I can't get that one working correctly. And hopefully you can see here, here we're back on the inside of the inside of the, the front door here from here down and, and then here's the sheetrock here this whole thing was never even sheetrock correctly because they couldn't they couldn't do it because the door was never installed correctly so now i'm gonna have to come in here and from right here all the way to the floor i'm gonna have to rip this drywall i'll cut this drywall and i'm hoping that because the two by fours were over here that this was all fastened over here then this, and this piece will come right off I hope, I think it will, but it's going to have to come off. I can already tell that they ran all these things all the way down through here instead of in here, so now I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to tear it out. I, I have no choice. I was gonna get lucky, but nope. Well. I have beat and beat and beat on this side over here. I don't know if it's foamed in or if he's fastened something from the top. I'm gonna end up having to go from the inside and run a sawzall all the way across this top to try to free whatever it is that, that's in here that's holding it. Uh, I don't wanna beat on it any harder than I already have. see what we got. There she goes. 
There it goes. It's really not too bad. That's not that bad at all. I'm level there. Okay, here's where it drops. This is where it's dropping. Right here. That's why it's hitting up there. It drops right here in this corner. Oh yeah, big time. That's where the drop is at. That's darn near. The bubble's touching the left, the left line. Okay. So these shims don't go in the corner over here. Okay. I'm gonna fasten this side back in where it belongs. This side is level. This is the hinge side. It is level. Okay, so because my door is hitting here, it's hitting here, this needs to come up. Not this corner. This needs to come up, but I will bring this corner up with it level. And as this comes up, this is going to pull away and it's going to stop hitting across the top. Watch. So as you can see, I shimmed here, right underneath this, I shimmed here, I've got this set in right, right at level, right at level, and then I got one shim on the inside in this corner, and I'll put another one right there, just nice and firm, that's all it needs to be, just firm. See, here's my, my two shims on the inside, it brought this piece of the door up as this part of the door comes up it not only comes up but it comes out which freed it up right here and now it's nice and smooth I don't even have this full side of the door even fastened in yet but there it is no it's not hitting I've got a true line all the way down and across the top I did not change out any of the hinge screws in any of the hinges. They're all the original hinge screws. It just takes time. I will now take the time to fasten this side of the door in, even with the sheetrock on the inside. I'll get this fastened in on this side. Shims on this side. Yeah, that's got to come this way right here a lot. I don't know if you can see that, but that way just coming all the way out on this side. That's, that's a good eighth of an inch off, but now it's back, it's, it's back to level now. So what now I can do is I'll get these cut off, both on the inside and the outside here, get them cut off, but you can see now, now my door is setting back where I can get to this concrete and I can put a seal, I can put a silicone seal all the way across the bottom of this threshold. I can get into the corners over here, and on the other side I can get in the corner, I can get this whole thing siliconed off and sealed other than the way it was before where the threshold was sticking all the way out here. I was, I was afraid I was going to have to build something in underneath here to, to, to support it, but the more I looked at it, it's just the whole door had to go back because the way the thing is framed, it's framed for like a 2 by 6 wall. And these are two by four doors. We didn't know at the time we purchased the doors. So 
it has to be accommodated on the outside, not the inside. And here now you can see my door's flush. It's all flush with the, the sheetrock. With the sheetrock on the inside of the house, it's all flush. Even on this side over here, it's all flush. Flush with the sheetrock so that we can just run our trim on the door. Again, I will cut these shims, I'll cut these shims off and have our trim just cover the, the perimeter of the door. And now you can see, well, it's not closed all the way. Closed all the way, you see no light, no light, no nothing. It's nice and even, even across the top. And the door just, the door just opens and closes. Look at that lock. Locks line up, nice and smooth, no banging, no hitting, it's just nice and smooth. I'm, I'm happy with that, I can live with that. We just get it all cleaned up, get it painted, and now our front door is working the way it's supposed to work. Just the way it's supposed to go. You know what? I want to thank you very much for clicking on our channel and joining me back out here at Berkshire Farm and another fix of the barn dominium. You know, it's slow but sure, but we are, we're moving forward. Now with this done, I'll get, I'll get everything finished, trimmed in. I'm not going to worry about painting this door right now. There's other more important things. We're going to get started on some flooring. The sooner I can get some flooring done in here, the sooner I can get some cabinets started. And then the sooner I get some flooring in here, the sooner we can start bringing some of our things in. Thank you for clicking on our channel. Uh, if you're a subscriber, I want to thank you. I would thank you very, very much for watching our videos and, and, and hitting that like button. If you're not a subscriber, can please consider hit that subscribe button. Join us out here on Berkshire Farm. Join us as we build this barn dominium and as we grow our farm and our poultry. Thank you and God bless.